Hello, this is George Mock with Texas Instruments. Welcome to this quick tip video about the linker command file. Now the linker is a tool which collects together all the object files and libraries and combines them together into the image that will execute on the target device. Now the linker command file is yet another input to the linker. The linker command file will tell the linker things like, well, okay, here's where memory is, and here's how you form up output sections, and here's where you should put those output sections in memory. Um, if you are never done embedded programming before, you probably never used a linker command file to your knowledge. However, you actually have used a linker command file. This command I'm showing here, this GCC command, you can go run that yourself if you've got the GCC toolset installed and you can see the linker command file you've been using every single time you link. Now this particular linker command file that was probably put together by, I don't know, the developers of GCC or the operating system experts or, you know, somebody of that nature. And, and so, I mean, you've never had a, a reason to directly use it, but it's been uh, happening for you every single time you link. So in the case of Code Composer Studio, a project that you're building for a TI microprocessor, where would you see the linker command file? Well, in this screenshot, it's circled here in red. Here's a, excuse me, MSP430 project. Uh, some of the files are in the project. And the linker command file is yet another of the files in the project. It's got the extension .cmd. That's very typical, although that's not a uh, hard and fixed requirement that the extension must be .cmd. Um, and this is what a linker command file for an MSP430 tends to look like. So, how do you go about finding more details about linker command files? Well, as luck would have it, there is a wiki article dedicated to that very topic. So, we want to go to... This is the uh, home page for the TI Wiki about micro pro uh, the various processes we sell. Okay, and then here in the search box, you can type in linker, command file, primer, like so. And voila, the article comes up. Um, here's the full URL for it if that's something you like to focus on. And this article is expressly for people who know next to nothing about linker command files. It gets through all the introductory material. Um, I mean, it gets into a, even lots of uh, fairly detailed situations that tend to occur in actual live linker command files in the field. So that wraps it up. I'm George Mock with Texas Instruments. Thank you for joining me on this video.